We have simplifying a quotient involving a sum or a difference, but I want to give you guys a quick reminder about something. You cannot cancel over addition and subtraction. You only cancel when there is multiplication. So for example, if you had two plus seven over seven, right, you cannot cancel the sevens. It doesn't become two plus one. Two plus seven over seven is nine sevens. Now, if I had multiplication to multiply by seven over seven, I could cancel the sevens and I would have two. When students hear you can only cancel when there's multiplication and they see an addition symbol, sometimes that can be confusing. So I wanted to put an expression that is identical to the one in the middle. This is still two times and three plus four is seven and three plus four is seven. Yes, I see addition here, but it's really two multiplied by blob over the exact same blob. So this is multiplication in disguise. So as long as the addition is inside parentheses and it's a string of multiplication, yes, you can still cancel. So I could cancel the three plus four with the three plus four because it's exactly the same as canceling the sevens right there. If we want to simplify these problems, we need to turn this into multiplication because right now I have addition, I have addition, and I have subtraction. And the way that we turn something into multiplication is factoring. So in this first one, if I want to turn this numerator into multiplication, I have negative four in the front and two root five. So what's the number that's in common to four and two? What, what will fit into both? Yeah, two. So if I take a two out of both of these, took a two out front, two times negative two gets me back to negative four. Now, if you take a two out of two root five, the root five is still there. And again, just verifying two times the square root of five is two root five. Okay, so they're both even. I'm factoring out a two out front. Let's redistribute to verify. Two multiplied by negative two is negative four. 2 multiplied by root 5 is 2 root 5. So we've turned this into a multiplication problem in the numerator. So I can now cancel. So I either have to cancel all of this giant piece at one time, like if there was a match, I could cancel it, but there's no match. But the 2 and the 6, I can now cancel. So I'm going to Cancel this two with this six, and then that becomes three because two over six is a third. And my final answer then is negative two plus root five over three. Okay, so let's do the same thing on this one. Currently, I can't cancel the nine and the 18 because there's addition here. So we're gonna turn this into multiplication by factoring. So what's a number that fits into both nine and three? Three, okay, so if I take a three out front, then three times negative three will get me back to negative nine, and three times root two will get me back to root two. taking out that three. Now this three and this 18 can cancel. So I'm gonna cancel this three and cancel the 18. And then three fits into 18 six times. And so my final answer is negative three plus root two over six. Okay, now the last one, the last one at first glance 
we may not see anything in common, but this square root of 32 is not simplified. We've spent a lot of time now simplifying roots, so I'm not gonna talk through it, you know, forever. But if I break 32 down into four times eight, four is two times two, eight is two times four, that four is two times two, bringing those twos down, that square root of 32, that square root of 32 becomes square root of two times two times two times two times two. Okay, a pair, two of a kind, I get to take a number out. So I have a pair of two, so I get to take a two out. Another pair of two, so I get to take a two out, and that two is still trapped under there. And we still have off to the side minus two, and that's six in the denominator. Okay, so two times two is four, root two minus two over six. Now this problem looks like the first two that we looked at. There's something in common to four root two and two. There's a two in common. So if I take a two out of both of these, this one's gonna become two root two. And if I take a two out of this one, it becomes one. Let's just redistribute to verify that. Two times two root two is four root two, and two times negative one is minus two. Okay, now that the numerator is multiplication, I can cancel the two and the six. So if I cancel this two here, cross that one off and cross the six off and turn that into a three. And so my final answer is two root two minus one over three.